I'm honored to now invite Judge Michael McCasey, former U.S. Attorney General, and, and clearly a known entity as a supporter of the Iranian resistance and the people of Ashraf. <laughs> thank you for that kind introduction. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. And thank you, Mrs. Rajavi, for calling us all together again to call attention to something that we should not have to be calling attention to, which is the plight of the people of Ashraf and the disgraceful continuation of the United States government to keep the MEK on a list on which it should never have been placed and on which it should not continue to be. We've heard that the UN High Commissioner for Refugees has told the residents of Ashraf that they have the status of asylum seekers, and that is an important thing. Now it's time for us, everyone here, and the government of the United States to act. It is time to undo the deadline. It is time to delist MEK. It is time to unleash forces that, if they are unleashed, could stop tyranny. We know from papers that were seized after World War II that if anyone had stopped German troops from marching into the Sudetenland, they were under orders to turn around and go back. The same is true today. If we stand up and act in the face of tyranny and show it that we are determined, we being the United States, we being Europe, the European Union, we being free people everywhere, that we are determined to act, they cannot prevail. But if all we do is view with alarm, and say that we're worried, and say that we're watching, they will continue to act as they have. And so I join with Governor Ridge and Governor Dean in calling on my own government to act, delist MEK and send a signal to the people of Ashraf to people all over the world that this kind of tyranny will not stand. And if we do that, then it won't. Thank you very much. It gives me great pleasure to invite the next speaker from Poland. Please give a very warm welcome to Mr. Ryszard Czerneski, former European Minister of Poland. Ms. President Rajavi, Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. First of all, I congratulate my distinguished colleague from European Parliament, from this same political group, my political group, European Conservatives and Reformists, Mr. Stuart Stevenson, for his efforts and such wonderful achievements to solve the Ashraf crisis so far. Without these efforts, we wouldn't have reached a point that the UNHCR fulfills its commitments regarding Ashraf. Without these efforts, Baroness Katrin Ashton, Vice President of the European Commission, wouldn't have involved herself to this 